Oh, majestic grape of the hand, what is your wisdom? Just wondering if I were an otter and you were an otter and we were sleeping, would you hold my paw so we wouldn't drift away from each other? Uh, I'm, I'm just wondering. I've come up with the phrase Blarbo in Law, which is a fictional character who isn't like your Blarbo from your shows, but it is your mutual's Blarbo who you nevertheless have developed strong opinions about due to the long term dash exposure. Okay, so my understanding so far of Blarbo, it's. Zero C's? Is that... Uh, okay, I'm gonna, I'm gonna slowly decipher this as we go. And as soon as I figure it out, they're gonna change Blarbo to something else. In every supernaturally themed series, you will encounter people who more or less seriously ask, Why does nobody use a gun? And I'd like to thank Whole Horse and Guido Mista for preemptively answering that in JoJo's by always managing to somehow shoot themselves. Just when I think I understand JoJo without watching JoJo, something more JoJo happens. Let me out of this sewer, man. I could be your best friend. I could be the best thing that's ever happened to you. Yeah, I don't know about that one. Baikal seals look like if you do so much as breathe a single molecule on them, they'll disintegrate into a small puddle of tears. They look like they make the laminated sheet wobble sound unprompted and constantly. They actually look like that emoji with, with the big, sad anime eyes. Andy, put up the one. Hopefully you know the one. That's it. Wish my life was like a 90s movie where all my friends work in record stores and bookshops and coffee shops and we see really cool bands and small little clubs and get breakfast together and, like, hang out on roofs and shit. Man, why you gotta do this to me? I'm becoming a snake, so I will never have joint pain again. See you losers later, I'm going to warm myself on a rock in the sun. King, do you know what snakes are made of? Like, huge mood, but they are joints all the way down, also. Well, team, it seems I don't actually know anything about snakes. Damn it. Thanks, Hank. You really taught me a lot about propane and propane accessories. And I'll tell you what, young man. I don't know what a heart of the cards is, but I know for certain you've got the heart of a Texan. This is exactly how Kingdom Hearts is like. Constantly opening and closing this app like a fridge. Guys, I'm officially diagnosed with bed to cozy disease. Just put a blanket over me and let me go to sleep now. Shit, I have more of these to do. Hold on. It looks good, so I feel good. And I feel good, so it looks good, are two contradictory moods I have when wearing some outfits. And if life has taught me anything lately, it's that some truths can be contradictory and both still be true. That's why we have pretty clothes and comfy clothes, and they both slay. Are you gonna slay it? First off, I always slay it, queen. Secondly, yes. I really don't think there's a man more charming than Scar, to be honest. You are not immune to his good times. Okay, what I love about this is that based on who I reblogged it from, it's probably about Minecraft, but literally, my only context for Scar as someone's name is the Lion King, and I still hard agree. I was about to say, this is weird to say about the dude from Full Metal Alchemist, but why not? Alright, let me just chime in for a second, um... <laughs> I don't know how many of you are playing the Disney gotcha game with the villains, but... <laughs> Andy, put up the picture I sent you with Scar. <laughs> Fucking damn! God, can you imagine if Donald Trump became president? There'd be like a new bubonic plague and he'd be like, Oh, drink bleach about it. Yeah, throwback to when I took acid for the first time in 2013 and predicted the events of 2020 like the fucking Oracle of Delphi. Is it Delphi or Delphi? Whatever. <sighs> Being a kid was so fucking funny. We would just go around lying to each other's faces constantly to impress each other. One of my classmates told me he was the first person to visit the sun. And when I asked him what it was like to prove he was lying, he said he didn't remember because they sent him there when he was just a baby. 
And to this day, the mental image of NASA launching an unsupervised baby into the sun still cracks me up. It's just, uh, I kind of want to see this now. Everyone, meet my Jar of Jars. His name is Jar Jar. <laughs> and when you shake it, Jar Jar clicks. Get out! The eradication of Adobe Flash dress-up games directly led to the creation of NFTs. Sure, I'll incorporate that into my worldview. Makes the most sense to me! Man, sometimes I think Tumblr's insane, but then through the walls of my glass house, I catch a glimpse of what goes down at fandom Twitter, and I think to myself, I'm glad that this health site is my prison, actually. <laughs> Dandelions symbolize everything I want to be in life. Fluffy and dead with a gust of wind. Unapologetic. Hard to kill. Feral. Filled with sunlight, bright, beautiful in a way that the conventional and controlling hate, but cannot ever fully destroy. Stubborn, happy, bastardous. Friends with bees, highly disapproving alons, and full of wishes that I will be carried far after I die. Man, that was beautiful. If you were a mouse and you wanted to change the subject, you could say, Squeakin' a witch! Get out! One April Fool's Day, Fred and George decide to play the ultimate prank doing absolutely nothing but pretending like they have. By midday, most of Gryffindor house is on edge. There's an alternative universe where it's socially acceptable to eat oranges like an apple. Wait, wait, wait. Were we not supposed to do that? Andy, help me out here. Was I not supposed to be doing that? Why are you an adult person below five foot seven? So I can stand up on my tiptoes to kiss tall women. So my face gets directly shoved into man titties when hugging him. God knew that if she made me any taller, I'd reach directly into heaven for her throat. Ah, three types of people! Please, this hell site is my home. I can't imagine ever leaving it. Where else will I post gifts? No one will reblog. Where else will I get wrong information from 20 people at the same time? No! No! It's 2007. You're working on a PowerPoint for school. It's about ancient Egypt. You select the papyrus font. Yes. Perfect. Clichés are bad. Okay then, explain showing up bloody or bruised outside your enemy's door because you didn't know where else to go. Explain that to me. Look, you can't ship that, it'll never be canon. Look, when I was your age, we shipped characters who never even met in canon. Uphill, both ways, in the snow. Cliché, but classic trope. When the person who's almost dead wakes up in a hospital bed, looks around, and sees the object of their affection sleeping uncomfortably in the chair next to them because they haven't moved in days. You can pry that trope from my cold, dead hands. Cliche but classic subtrope over this. The person who almost died tells the object of their affection, you look like shit, despite the fact that they are the one in the hospital bed and almost died. Do not let a woman who decorates her buttocks deceive you by wily coaxing, for she is after your granary. Some oddly specific advice from Hesiod, C 700 BC. All right, but Hesiod, which thick girl hurt you and stole your grain? Andy, quick, hide Seattle. Yeah, it was, it was her. She did it. She did it. Quick, hide her. No one must know. Hey, 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 hey! You kick Blarbo. You kick Blorbo like the Plinko? Oh! Oh! EBDB for Glub Shitto! EBDB for Glub Shitto for thousand years! I'm blaming all of you for the abominable fact that I can understand this post. I. I still don't know what the fuck's going on, man. I don't even want to scream for this one. I just. What are you doing to me, Tumblr? Okay, we've talked about this meme long enough that. I actually had to go look it up because I finally wanted to know. I didn't understand it, but here we go. What is the origin on the Blorbo thing from Tumblr? Uh, Andy, <laughs> you're free to put in your own reactions as I read this description from knowyourmemes.com because it exponentially gets funnier and more ridiculous the more I read it. So, here we go. Blorbo from my shows is a slang term for a person's favorite fictional character and is used similarly to terms such as Glubshitto and Scrimblow Bimblow. 
Though initially intended as a mocking way to describe Tumblr fandoms, it began seeing more use among fandoms as it became popularized in early 2022. On December 24th, 2011, Tumblr user The Lustiest Argonian Maid made a text post that read, Bitches will be like previous tags, OMG on my post, and I check the preg <laughs> tags on it, and it's like Blarbo from my shows. The post gained over 11,000 notes in roughly two weeks. The original post has since been edited to show a disappointed looking, gender bent, Queen Harkinian image expressing the original poster's dislike of the meme that emerged from her post. However, unedited reblogs of the original post are still active on Tumblr. Reblog shown below. Over the following weeks, Blorbo from my shows began seeing use in nonsensical posts featuring characters from various mediums. For example, on January 7th, 2022, the Tumblr user John 13 Whitaker posted an example featuring a Star Trek character gaining over 3,400 notes in three days. Shown below left. Blorbo from my shows. The same day, user Napoleon Bonafarte or Napoleon Bonaparte, posted a reference to The Simpsons with the phrase gaining 198 notes in a similar time frame, shown below right. What's the matter, sweetie? Is Blorbo from your shows having difficulties? <sighs> Others commented on how Blorbo from my shows added to Tumblr's long history of making up words that became memes. For example, on January 5th, 2022, user Killing God posted a Bulba versus Kiki image comparing Borba to Plinko, gaining over 2,000 notes in five days, shown below left. Borba and Plinko. On January 9th, user plus uno anno posted a compilation of similar words Tumblr turned into a meme, joking that Tumblr's recent widespread tag ban inspired users to make up new words. Shown below right. And those words are... And I quote, EBDB, Blorbo from my shows, Plinko Horse, Glob Shitto, and personal favorite, Scrunglo. So, for the, the too long, didn't read version of this, uh, person was making fun of Tumblr, Tumblr took the opportunity to turn into a meme, original poster got upset, and then Tumblr said, fuck it, we don't care, we're still doing it because it's funny. That's good old fashioned Tumblr right there, Andy. <laughs> Your brain okay? You doing good over there? Do, do you want a Sprite? You want a Sprite? I'll get you. Today's Tumblr video is brought to you by MILF. Man, I love fried rice. You're telling me, a man I love, fried this rice? I wish I was a cat. No school, no works, just meow meow. Every Tumblr mobile update just feels like they broke into my house and moved everything slightly to the left. Andy, for the rest of the post for this video, move everything by at least 10 pixels every time. Flip phones are just Zippo lighters for millennials. Thank you for coming to my TED Talk. Writing prompt. In a galaxy where humans are seen as small, cute, and infantile, a hardened terrain criminal goes into hiding on an alien world. He is soon found by a six-year-old girl who, not knowing who or what he is, decides to keep him as a pet. Didn't they already do this? I think they did. Not Lilo and Stitch. There was like another movie that similar situation, I think. I don't remember. Just a thought, but sometimes the true selves debate is really funny when you take a step back and look at it outside of the fandom perspective. Like, acting different in different situations is something we all do. Am I my true self on Tumblr? Am I my true self talking to my friends? Talking to my parents? The answer is no. I'm only my true self when I'm playing Pokemon. Gotta catch them all. Every friend group needs a mom friend. Uh, no, absolutely incorrect. What every friend group needs is that one person who just happens to have a traffic cone on hand. Still fucking hate that bee free honey. It's made from apples. Bitch, who you think sexed up those apples? A farmer, by hand, and with love and care. Wild B still sexing him up when he's not looking. Old McCuckle had a farm. E -I -E -I 
Andy, thank you for sending me this one. You're like six. They should come out with new flavors. Just in general. What do you think pilk is? A better question would be, which is the worst vegetable? And the answer is peas. Everyone can go home now. Cucumber haters in the tags going in the deepest pit of hell. Do you hear yourselves? Pathetic. It's broccoli. Not even cheese can help broccoli. You people are sick in the head. The correct answer is Brussels sprouts. My man. The only thing that fixes those is bacon. And that kind of ruins the whole point of a vegetable. Jelly jam is a gas. Let me explain. Solids have a fixed shape and a fixed volume. Liquids have a fixed volume, but not a fixed shape. Gas have no fixed volume and no fixed shape. Jelly has no fixed shape. Whatever you pour it into, that's its shape. And the reason it doesn't have a fixed volume is because it's constantly being eaten, going down in a mount. Therefore, jelly is a gas. Change my mind. You can find me on this. I will not change my mind. Look what I can do. <laughs> but what does that have to do with me? No, no. He's got a point. You know, Tumblr should have a feature where if it's someone's birthday, there's a little party hat over their avatar so the followers can see if it's their special day. Tumblr, Twitter, I know you're watching. Maybe want to pass that idea along? Maybe. The greatest thing about Marvel is that now all of your favorite ships and headcanons are actually canon because of the multiverse. Like Doctor Strange hopping through that multiverse being like, wow, look at all these gay bitches. This is great. I'm using this argument now. Thanks. Hey, you. Yeah, you. You look beautiful today. I'm sorry for yelling, but it had to be said. Th thank you, Snow, but it isn't true. But thank you. You spend your life with yourself. You get so used to seeing yourself that you start to see the floss. But me? I've never seen you before. And trust me, you look beautiful. <laughs> we don't deserve snob. Died and came back as a cowboy. I call that reincarnation. Isekai, yay, motherfucker. I hate this site. I quit! This isn't necessarily an animal question, but do you have any facts about moral mushrooms? Mm. Delicious. But you shouldn't eat them. It's immoral. <laughs> Fellas, if you want to walk and talk with me, you better match my speed, because I have short legs and low stamina. No one bad thing to happen. I'm sorry, but bad thing gonna happen. Ah, uh, the reader-writer dynamic. <laughs> Sometimes I look at my D20, and I want to eat it. It looks so sparkly, just... Let me munch. Mmm, forbidden candy. Eating the chest pieces is out. Eating the dice is in. Eat the chest piece until you beat the king. Then get possessed and eat dice. Ghost adventure spirit orb, you... You okay over there? Count, Dracula? Psst. Okay. One. <laughs> yeah, she's good looking, I guess. Not really my type. I like a bigger wingspan, like, oh, there we go. Page 236. Look at the plumage on that one. Mm, sweet Jesus. I tried to scroll past this. I just saw someone on the verge of tears in a Five Guys at 2 a.m. with a bunch of his friends, and one of them went, do you, do you want some water? And he said, Tony probably liked water and continued sobbing. Oh, poor guy got stood up. No! Today my dad said, Why do people binge watch entire seasons? It's not like you get a book and read it in one night. So I'm not convinced he knows anything about what I do in my free time. You know, I was going to make a list of people that annoy me, but I guess it was too long, so I decided to post a pic instead. Behold! <gasps> oh my god, I'm in the same photo as Tom Hiddleston. Ugh, my hair looks terrible. Can we do it again? I blinked. After nearly two years of near-continuous isolation from the global pandemic, I can say that the guy from The Shining was a bitch. I could do his job and try to not kill my wife and son. I haven't tried to kill my wife once, and I spend way longer going insane. Well, do you have ghosts and demons too? Being online is the same thing as being physically attacked by ghosts and demons, so yes! You have demons at home. What does that mean? M Mom, what does that mean? Hey, uh, are you a flirt? I am insane. Two fair men lie in water warm and slow. As brothers are they joined heart to heart. 
but Cupid hath not struck them with his bow. Lest that be thought, they sit five feet apart. Fuck you. No, no, no. No fuck you. Andy, give this post a gold medal. They deserve it. Best post on the website. Flawless. You know, there's no reason you can't eat pie at every meal. They make fruit pies, vegetable pies, meat pies, meat substitute pies. I mean, pies easily cover 100% of your necessary nutrient groups. They even make cake pies. The only reason not to switch over to pie entirely is pie sucks. You were so close to a revolutionary thesis, and then you betrayed me and every citizen of good standing. Fuck you! You know, in general, I think New York is very good for my social anxiety, because no matter how much of a freak I'm being, I know it's probably not the weirdest thing people have seen today. Case in point, I felt bad about bringing my unwieldy luggage onto a crowded train, until the man sitting next to me pulled a live fish out of his backpack. Yeah, yeah, we, uh, we, we, we do do that. We do do that. Ah, oh, yes, they call me No Q Jones because I post everything I reblog at once with no breaks in between and then vanish into the night for extended periods of inactivity. Oh, yeah. I have a lot of pet peeves, but I think the biggest one is when people say things like, Oh, it's such a small town, only 35,000 people. Like, bitch, my town has 200 people. You need to pick a new adjective. Yeah, according to Wikipedia, a small town is 1,000 to 20,000 people. So although you are correct in stating that 35,000 people is not a small town, it is a large town, you are incorrect in thinking that you live in a town. You live in a village. You are a villager. I... I don't know what to do with that information. A, a, a villager. I know how to fix this. Andy, slide over to Isabel to that. Look at that, see? Now you're a villager, you get one of these. And they're pretty cool. That's a good looking dog right there. Just give him a little pat. Yeah. Nice. No yelling at the end of this one. Unless Andy wants to. <laughs>